Hello, this is Alex, and I'm going to be reviewing the new Garage Band for the iPod Touch. So this app costs $4.99 on the App Store for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. Now I'm just going to show you an example song. I'm going to play like these instruments and try and make a song. And it's really quick to make a song, a couple minutes, and that's it. So, first instrument I'm going to play is the smart bass. So, this bass guitar is a simple way of playing the bass guitar, so it's easy to play. So, I'm just going to show you an easy way to play this ba bass guitar. So I've just made a simple tune on the smart bass and now I'm going to move to the next instrument and show you what the other features are. So I'm going to play the next instrument, that's going to be the smart drums. Now this is a really basic easy way of playing the drums. All you have to do is just put like an instrument on the pad and it'll play it. So now I'm just going to show you some of the features around the um, smart drums. So I'm just going to play a simple tune of the hi-hat and then I'm going to record it no, I'm not going to record it I'm going to change the beat to it and you can like change heaps of beats and all that and you can turn it off and on and now I'm just going to play a simple tune of the hi-hat and record it and I'm going to add some more instruments into it So that's the simple rhythm I made on the smart drums. And you can use other drums on it as well, but I didn't show you on that. Okay, so I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the um normal drums right now. And um I'm just gonna like play a simple rhythm. And you got all these drums you can play like the softer you hit them, the softer the noise will make. Harder you hit them, louder the noise you make, you know, you've seen the videos. <laughs> And now I'm just going to like play a simple tune. Okay, so that's a beat I've done just there. Now I'm going to go to the next instrument, the smart piano. Now I'm just going to play a tune and look and I'm going to change the piano to smooth groove, I think. And I'm going to play. And I'm just experimenting here and now I'm going to record it. Okay, so that didn't go really that well with the piano, but I tried. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some of the other instruments as well. There's a few others, like a microphone, you get to record, there's an amp guitar amplifier, and there's a few others I didn't have to show. So this has just been a basic tutorial of the GarageBand. It's not all the features, but it's good enough. Now I'm going to play the song, the Not Very Well song but I could do better. But this is just a basic song I made just in like two minutes, so it's pretty good. And I'm going to be showing you some of the other options as well, and... So that's my horrible song I just showed you. 
And I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, other features, uh, like the other settings you can do to the song. Um, like, you can like mute it, you can change the volume of the song in certain instruments, quantize it. You've got a lot of options to do, which is pretty good. Um, you can add more sections to it, so you can make a long song. Um, turn the metronome off on, more options, help. And yeah, so that's... That's the song I did, and we're showing you outside the song and saving. So you can like uh, share it on iTunes and email it. You can change the name of the song. You can uh, you can copy the song. You can make a, you can duplicate it or make a new song. Oh, you can just put in the bin, get rid of it, which I probably will do. So this has been iOS Helping. Please subscribe for videos, app reviews, and all sorts of stuff to do with iOS uh, devices and all that. I'm sorry for the delays um, because we've been keeping busy and the next few weeks is going to be busy as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a special video, so stay tuned and thank you.